Hey everybody, Drew Kardash here from the Alberta on Fire Investor Team. I want to bring to you today our summer 2022 update, market update. All right, where are things going? I know that there's a lot of uncertainty in the market right now. I want to go over, is it a good time to buy? Is it a good time to sell? What's going on with the interest rates? And you know, where are things at? First off, when we look at market trends, what are the prices doing right now? Prices for single family homes in Edmonton are around that $503,000 mark, and that's up 2.7% year over year from last June to now, last July to now. Uh, condos are at $233,000. They're down slightly 2.4% year over year. And we've got the clear winners again, the duplexes and row townhouses at $394,000, up 9.3% year over year. Listings right now, what we're seeing, they are up 4.6% year over year. The Edmontonians have woken up to, to the idea that there's a little bit of upward pressure in the market right now and people are getting their listings on the market. Sales are down 3.5% slightly year over year. This could be due to a couple things interest rates obviously, and COVID-free summer. We've got a normal summer in our hands and that's nothing like we've had in the last couple of years. Where are interest rates at? Well, let's dive into that a little bit. The fixed rates, we're seeing them plateau a little bit. Even a few of them have talked about pulling back a little. Uh, the variable rate obviously is driven by the overnight lending rate from the Bank of Canada. And that just rose 100 basis points here in the last couple of weeks. So interest rates we're seeing on the fixed side, we're likely gonna see some stability for a little while here. That's based on the bond yields and, uh, and with the variable rates, we know that they're most likely going to stay steady from now until the Bank of Canada meets again in September. What are rental rates doing right now? How is vacancy doing? Vacancy is very low right now. We're experiencing raises in rental rates across the board. I know in our portfolio, we have risen rates in pretty well every house, every property. Uh, we're hearing that a lot from property managers across the board. You know, they're not going up in, in large amounts. They're going up a little bit, but that's good signs. That means that things are on the move with upward pressure. Market conditions, what I'm seeing right now, we're seeing a little bit of softness. And again, due to a couple different things, the rate increases that we've had, you know, two percentage points over what we were seeing before, two percentage points that has a large impact on a lot of people's buying ability, and just kind of overall trust in the market that things are gonna stay where they're at, uncertainty. So rental rates, are sorry, interest rates have tempered people's buying a little bit. And again, also, this is the first summer that we've experienced with that people are able to travel, uh, people have some freedom to to go out and about so people aren't thinking about spending their money on real estate They're not thinking about saving they're thinking about scratching that travel itch that they haven't been able to scratch for the last couple of years So what's my prediction on where things are headed in the next month or so? I feel like now that we've got this big rate increase out of the way We're not likely going to see another one until September if there is another one so it, I feel like things are going to normalize a little bit. Uh, people are going to get back from holidays and start thinking about, you know, if they're going to be moving or if they're going to be buying again in the latter half of August. And I think that September is likely going to be busy again. Overall sentiment of the market, you know, are things going to move up? Are they going to move down? Are we going to have a housing crash? I don't think so. I feel like the correction that has happened in Edmonton or the correction that is going to happen in Edmonton is has already happened. We've had a fairly flat market here for the past number of years, and this last price increase, this last price bump, is really, in my opinion, a correction on where things should be in Edmonton. We're among the most affordable major centers around the world. Uh, we're a leader in Canada for affordability, and I don't really see a price crash coming. You know, when it comes to these times, we really just have to focus on the fundamentals. We, and today I wanna to focus on property growth, population growth. What are the things that are, are bringing people to Edmonton? Why would people wanna to move to Edmonton? Number one, we're amongst the most affordable market in the, in the world, in Canada for sure. Uh, we are, our average weekly earnings in Alberta lead Canada. We've got the highest paid people provincially in all of Canada. And uh, we've got a great economic diversity. We've got, we don't have a, we don't have a one income kind of 
economy. We've got a really diverse economy where we've got some uh, logistics, we've got some manufacturing, we've got oil and gas, obviously. We've got the head of the provincial government, legislature is in Alberta. We've got a lot of things going for Alberta. We've got a lot of things going for Edmonton specifically that's drawing people here. So that's where I see things are headed. That's where I see things are at. I hope this helps with your real estate decisions. And if you're looking to buy property, if you're looking to sell property, or if you just have general questions, reach out to us, we'd love to help.